All right, in today's tech talk, driverless cars are hitting the road. TikTok's dealing with a Kardashian controversy and Ring back in the news, stepping up its security on its home video cameras. Joining me now is our tech expert, Jessica Naziri. Good to see you again. Thank you, thanks for having me. Yeah, so let's talk about driverless cars. We knew it was coming, but now what is the news today? So Nero is the first self-driving bot that will deliver your groceries. So it's a bot. Yes. There, there's no it, one it, sitting I mean, it's, a, it's like a robot, right? right. It's a self-driving device that no longer has windshield, no longer has the cameras in the back. And it's really just the first kind to actually get is exemption. Now, I'm really excited because it's two ex-Googlers that are behind this. Um, a lot of companies have applied for this exemption, and this is the first company. So I feel like after this, more companies will learn what to do, and there will be a whole slew of other companies that will do the same thing as well. Right, as these fe fe federal regulators yes, try to figure things exactly. out. I mean, this little driverless robot, I guess, it can't go very fast, and there are already rules in place. There's rules in place, but I can't tell you how many people are already opposed to this. There's been memes where, like, people are going to get run over, and what's next? and you know how lazy can we be <laughs> funny for me the other day I actually ordered um, delivery to my home Amazon and someone stole everything right so will this be a way to prevent loss right. you know will you now actually have another robot that actually brings the everything to you to your doorstep so I'm excited to see where oh, this goes. I hate yeah. to hear <laughs> that I know in this in this day of age of everyone doing so much online yes. now and getting those deliveries exactly yeah and yeah. we're talking about drones too soon yeah. to hit the skies <laughs> with your packages as exactly. Well. exactly okay tick tock what is going on a fake <laughs> of all things a fake Kindle Jenner account that was verified and then it was deleted less than 24 hours later how does it get verified and then they realize it was fake everyone is searching and wanting the coveted blue check mark on every social media check mark means okay this is the real validated person so there was a hole in the system and someone TikTok didn't do their job correctly or who really knows how they verified that in fact that was Kendall Jenner so like you said, someone, an imposter, pretended to be her, used Instagram videos that she posted in 2019 and created this account. 24 hours later, they deleted it. They said, oh wait, this is not actually Kendall Jenner. And so this is a really big implication because a lot of times people are following those accounts that do have that coveted check mark. And so they don't know who's real, who's fake. Mm -hmm. And this could be a really big problem down the line, especially when it comes to user trust. Right. And the misinformation that is so easily that gets out there you know exactly nowadays, exactly huh? and every platform has a different way of verifying right. users you know your check mark is on twitter i have one as well it on took Instagram. a long time i know and, and so some people get immediately they right. reach out to me some people have to you know apply for it and so there's really murky waters right. but people are you know questioning like what is the validation there is someone doing their job wrong or right or is, is it just kind of like a free-for-all? Right. Well, TikTok jumped on it pretty quickly, yes. though. They were able to compare those videos to something that Kendall had already posted on Instagram mm -hmm. months ago, mm -hmm. if not years ago. Okay, Ring, a lot of concerns, security concerns. This company, Amazon-owned company, mm -hmm. has just been blasted for its privacy concerns. But now what are they doing? Ring has, like you said, they've been in the news lately a lot. So they had a lot of issues with hacking, also sharing data with law enforcement. So now because of that, they said, okay, we're putting together this new privacy uh, setup where in the app, there's a device, there's a section called connected devices and you can actually opt out of sharing your videos to law enforcement. Um, and so that's really great and gives people peace of mind because how it happened before, let's say your ring was on and someone got in a car accident at your at your doorstep. So ring um, would allow if you if they if you said yes to, to have you share that to law enforcement. And so you might now, not even know exactly that it was being shared. But now now you can actually opt out of it and, and and you'll know that okay no matter what nothing will be shared they never just took it that never right. happened but you had to opt you know there's no opt-in feature now you can opt in whether or not you want this to happen or not so something that i always say is make sure you do put together two-factor authentication do you you know do you want to help other people that might need your ring services you know there has been cases where ring actually helped put together finding out who a burglar was or like car accidents so it's you know, with this day and age, security 
goes hand in hand with giving away data. And so are you gonna help someone by giving away access to, to your backyard, you know, and helping someone else? That's really for you to decide. Right. I know, all the, all the good and the bad that comes with this. Yeah, but I'm glad they're actually doing something about it because yeah. a lot of law enforcement have teamed up with Ring and so now you can opt in, so yeah. Right, giving people that decision. Then. Yes. And more, more options. All right, Jessica, thank you so much.